Um, so it's a one-year course, um, marine science, so we cover anything from the history of um, the ocean exploration, ocean ecosystems from like salt marsh, mangroves, coral reef, serpic, in the news now, so we've just been talking about that. Um, and then most of the year is on ocean organisms, so anything from you know smallest ones like plankton to all the way up to the whales. So that's kind of just an overview. There is no regents at the end. It's an elective class. Some kids use it as a third science class. Um, so typically juniors and seniors take the class. Um, I have had some sophomores if they're doubling up on science. From other schools, we have um, anywhere from um, Southlands Falls, Hudson Falls, Galway, Salem, Indian Lake, Amsterdam's new this year for me, Corinth, Schuylerville, Cambridge. I get to meet a lot of um, the different kids, of course, in different schools. I do actually travel and go and host from each school. So I try to do that twice a year. Um, since I have so many schools, I, it takes me out of class. My other class is a lot. So I can usually do it in four days, and I go and visit the school. So I will be there during our class period, but I teach from there. Um, so the kids get to see me in person. I get to see them. So I like to do that by end of October. Um, so we can get that initial meet and greet. Um, and then I'll go again in the springtime. Um, again, you know, teach from there. We'll do an activity and whatnot. And then I actually also have the kids come here to Granville and we do a lab day. So they will come here and meet the Granville kids. Um, so I usually split it up. So they'll come, um, I'll have like a couple periods come one day and then a couple of come another day. And um, we use one of the science lab rooms and we do a dissection of a dogfish shark and perch so they get to see the differences between the cartilaginous fish and then the bony fish. So they liked it and then we, I do a meet and greet game so they get to know each other. So what I have found um, through the, the uh, NERC um, who runs the DL does a survey every year of kids taking DL classes. Um, there's usually a lot of repeats because they love to meet other kids. They love to interact and to meet kids from other schools. So that's a huge advantage to taking a DL class. Um, the other reason why we um, have kids taking this class is because they don't have offered at their school. So if it's something they're interested in, last year I had like five people, and I think most of them from Skyville that were interested in, in going to pursue a marine biology career. Um, so you've got that um, aspect too. Um, I've had kids taking and want to go into the environmental field, um, which they'll get a little bit of in, in my class. We talk about um, the different ocean ecosystems. Um, we talk about pollution, which is a huge thing of obviously affecting the environment. So we'll talk about that in regards to the ocean, um, ocean acidification, we'll talk about it as well. Um, further on through the year, we'll talk about so also what I do in my marine science classes, is we can't do a lot of field trips because of budget um, reasons, is I do virtual field trips. Um, so we work with a laboratory in Sarasota, Florida called Moat Marine Laboratory. Um, and the educator there, her name's Casey, so she will actually come on live during each class period and talk to the kids. She's a great researcher, she's fun, outgoing, the kids love her. Um, so this year we're going to do, um, what I have done in the past, the kids really love, is a squid dissection. So she'll be on the camera doing the squid dissection, and the kids will need to know the parts of the squid. Um, another one she does is, um, there's a, she calls it Sharks Attack, or Sharks Alive, um, where she does, um, shows us their shark training. So what kind of sharks they have at the aquarium. You can actually visit the aquarium, they're also part of... Um, they do a rehab and uh, research facility too. 